Hello, mates. Mitch Groom's back. Uh, I can say that I really effed up really bad on doing this car. Now, if you look, I'll put the video in the description below how to replace this fan, the whole assembly. I had the top fan going out. All right, it shorted out. I noticed the car is running a little hot, so I tested the fan. The top one was burnout bottom was fine and I know how to put this in with my eyes closed okay I've done it a couple times four times already this is my new fan this is after all the craziness that's going on all right so what I did I put the, put the old fan out here's the old fan that one shot put the new fan in and what I didn't realize when I put the new fan in these grommets right there were missing there they were missing and it holds the bolt out further from the radiator all right so what's going on and that and the new one i had little metal plates here with a hole for the bolt didn't realize the grommets were gone what i did is screwed the bolt right inside of the freaking radiator after i did that uh, about four minutes four seconds Know, about four hours I was sick as a dog I couldn't believe I did that and so I searched on YouTube how to change out this radiator on an XJR and guess what there's not one video of how to change this radiator on an XJR not one also there's not even a radiator removal on an X308 there's not I can't believe it and I really needed it need to help on this because I wasn't sure how to you know this is not like the other cars it's totally different uh, didn't know how to remove the uh, AC condenser off the radiator because the boats are in the front so if you watch this video I will show you step by step how to do this this will be the this is the only video out there that will show the progress of doing this job and I hope you enjoy it. And I tell you what, I do these videos to help other people. I really needed help on this job. Uh, burping the system, that's another bitch. All right, I'm, I think I've got it done, but I'm still working on burping the system. But it's all there. New radiator, new fan assembly. Uh, the fan assembly cost me 178. The radiator with shipping cost me 270. 275 it was in very good shape let me show you the other radiator and I actually I'm glad I changed it here's the old one all right so previously this my jaw jag got it got it got pulled and when they pulled the radiator uh, they bent the bottom of the radiator so I guess I do. I did need to change it out. It wasn't leaking or anything, but this is kind of concerning, you know. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you, helps others that need to do this job. Again, I do these videos to help other people DIY. Do it yourself. This job would have cost over twenty five hundred dollars if I took it to a a shop. Twenty five hundred dollars and removing the fan that would have cost another thousand dollars so you know i'm trying to help you guys out uh all right hope you enjoy this video and it's gonna be step by step on another special note i had to replace the thermostat as well it was sticking and wouldn't open up um i have my led reader here and uh, this side stayed hot this side did not this side stayed uh, 190 this side stayed 130 so it's not crossing over the thermostat so I replaced it and also look below again I will show you another video I did years ago how to replace the thermostat and an XJR so that video is also below hope this helps you out all right, later. To remove this shield right here, 
Please go back to the previous video of how to remove the, uh, the electric fans. That will show you all you need to know. All right, the bolts to take off the AC condenser from the radiator. There are only two screws on the mesh grill. Use a, the uh, regular screwdriver, little screwdriver, and there it is. That's it right there. It's a 10 millimeter. That's it. We got one right there. Step aside. We got one right there. And I thought Jaguar is going to mess us up and make us take all the, all this together off. No. There they are. To get this off, you have to be very, very careful. You squeeze right here in the top, here in the bottom. Squeeze. Wiggle it. Right off. All right, this is what scares me. Two transmission lines. Here's the one that goes in. There's the one that goes out. These are 19 metric. So be careful when you do these. I'm going to try to get something over the line so I don't have to drain the transmission. We don't want to do that. Be very careful on this. Right side. Regular screwdriver. So these lines right here. Be very careful. Do not break those. Top transmission line. Here's a better view. That's it right there. The uh, condenser goes up, then out. That's the bottom of the condenser. Okay, you guys, work with me on this. All right. Just uh, think in your mind, this is already gone. Radiator's here. The condenser's already loose from the radiator. So this is by itself. You're, what you're gonna do is pull the condenser up and over out of the two clips on the bottom. So this will swing over to the front. So this will be free flowing right here, all right? Now you got the ACE condenser line right here, right here, going through here. Now, what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna move the condenser over this way. So this line will, will clear the clip on the radiator. So this will come over, the radiator will come out. Make sure you get this out of the way. And what I did also is you got another hose here. Be very careful that what I did, I had some uh, clips and I had everything pulled over to the left. I had this hooked so it would pull over and so I pulled it over. Make sure that you do clear this. Make sure you clear that one. Very dangerous, all right? Do not break that. And it will come straight up. Just keep this mind on this. Now the passenger side, well, here in America, passenger side, when you pull the radiator up, you'll have to clear that hose right there. It's another condenser line. All right, you have to clear it, but it will clear it. So pull it straight up and just be very cautious about that. What I did also right here, I unloosened, loosened this up and pulled this whole thing over. I twisted it over so this was actually hanging up out of the way of, of the radiator. That gives you more room. When you pull up, pull carefully up. Again, watch this line here. Get something, get something to move that over the side. And that line right there, also be very, very careful. Just 
Pull straight up and you'll be okay. Well guys and gals, I hope this really helped you out. Uh, I want you to be uh, careful about another thing. When you disconnect the transmission line, especially the bottom one, you need to make sure or be ready that you will lose transmission fluid. I didn't have to because my car is like this and all the fluid ran back to the transmission, so I didn't lose anything. But if, you're, if your car is flat, you're going to lose transmission fluid. Just be ready to put a cap on it and just stop the flow. You don't want to um, have to refill your transmission. That's not fun. I didn't show you the progress of me taking everything out. I was already done with this job. This is a job I did not want to have to do, but hey, you know, now I got a video. And if I had a video before I started this, this, this job, it would be much easier. There's not one video out there anywhere how to do this job or even or, or even doing this on an X308. What's the hell? What's up with that? I mean, can't believe it. All right, so now guess what? There's a video. Hope this video helps you out. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I appreciate your. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm tired guys. I, I'm over this job and I, I'm done. Hope it helped you out. Uh, later on.